The end of OG Fortnite's live event has been revealed and it's coming with some crazy collaborations as the M&M Fortnite skin has been added into the game with this morning getting the final small update for OG Fortnite, adding in all the final live event files, new cosmetics that will be coming to the item shop and information about the next Fortnite chapter that will be going into when OG Fortnite unfortunately comes to an end. The official live event review reveal from Fortnite lets us know that on December the 2nd at 2 p.m. ET, we'll be getting an unforgettable event, evolving all things as we know them, and a memorable reveal towards the end, making the hype for this absolutely huge. The M&M collaboration will see the Slim Shady outfit, which has additional styles, and the Marshall Nevermore outfit, which will also have additional styles, all coming to Fortnite before the end of the OG season finishing. There'll also be a back bling, which is reactive to music, his very own pickaxe, and his mask up built-in emo for the Slim Shady outfit. There'll be an exclusive style called the Magma style for the Marshall skin, which will only be available and will never be unlockable again by attending the live event that will be finishing off OG Fortnite and transitioning us into Chapter 5. This is the first time we've had a music artist, which we'd normally see get their own concert be tied into a live event that's more linked to the storyline as we start to dive into the actual live event itself which has an official name and description revealed we start to better understand how these things are coming together this end of season event will be called the big bang Woo! you know it's gonna be big when it has that name and the official description says experience a new beginning featuring an appearance by eminem but this isn't a concert it's the big bag what this event is set to be the biggest ever the encrypted files which are all the files in game that are used for live event which we can't access so no big spoilers but the total of those files is 1.5 gigabytes which is the biggest live event file we have had to date for Fortnite. Not only will Eminem be featured within this live event, but Lego will be featured in it. A brand new racing mode and something called a festival mode will all be tied into this experience as what seems to be essentially a big way of transitioning all of these players that have jumped back in for Fortnite OG to stick around for what's coming next as it's more than just a new chapter, it's new collab collaborations, new modes, so much happening. There'll be different phases of this live event where we'll go through different experiences and ultimately leave OG Fortnite and enter whatever the world of Chapter 5 will be. But throughout those phases, we'll be experiencing a Lego phase, which will have caves, rocks, trees, stones, logs, and more. There's rumors of this being tied to like an open world Fortnite game mode that will be coming within the next chapter. The rocket racing phase of a live event will have desert lighting, speed, pads, checkpoints, and more. Feels like we're actually going to be experiencing these modes for the first time in the live event, which sounds crazy. And the actual loading screen tied to the Big Bang live event is actually the Eminem Slim Shady outfit with the description saying it's a whole new world out there, meaning potentially we'll be seeing the Chapter 5 island within this live event as well. Fortnite are seriously trying to make sure that all of us stick around and continue to play for everything new that's coming next chapter. This Thursday, we still got a Fortnite OG update to happen where we will be jumping into a merge of season 9 and X and then the following week on the weekend is when this live event will be happening and more information will be revealed as we get closer and closer to it. The additional details we know for all of these new modes that are going to be featured within the live event starting off with Lego is that there's going to be cosmetics with an item shop selection titled Adventure with Lego having recently been added to the service this morning with multiple pages. So we could be getting Lego versions of Fortnite skins playable in Fortnite. Like, how crazy is that? The files are suggesting that the Lego game mode that will be in Fortnite is a permanent thing. Like, imagine Battle Royale, but it's Lego in-game. It's unsure whether or not this will be available for all skins straight away, but your favorite Fortnite skins should be transformable into their Lego figure version to play in this mode, with gliding and swimming being available as well. As for real Lego Fortnite sets in real life, there's a rumor that there'll be a brick head collection released. Weirdly enough, 
stuff I actually have. Let's see if I can show you. Got a creeper there. I've got Iron Man there. I've got Thanos there. Captain America. Steve from Minecraft. They're basically like short, stubby figurine versions. And apparently they'll be getting a Fortnite set, which I will definitely be getting. The dedicated Lego mode with free rewards is rumored to be going live on December the 7th, a few days after we started Chapter 5 next month. The next mode is in the racing mode that we've been talking about for ages, apparently called Rocket Racing, with a connection between Rocket League and Fortnite. Also set to be a permanent mode, also featuring its own item shop. This one will actually be separate to the skins that we're getting normally in Fortnite. There'll still be some crossover as there are some F1 racer outfits that have been leaked that you can see on screen here, hyping up this new mode coming as well. It's believed that vehicles from Rocket League attached to the same Epic Games account are expected to be added into the new mode. For example, there's literally a Bugatti in Rocket League, which I jumped on just to buy, just in case. So then you could take your Bugatti from Rocket League and have that as a drivable vehicle in this brand new rocket racing mode in Fortnite. There's even been a recent release for Lightning McQueen from the film Cars, which I've also picked up. I cannot guarantee that these will cross over, but it's very likely they will. So I've been buying up cars in Rocket League just to be careful. And this new mode will have its own custom car garage where you can fiddle with your vehicles, make it look how you want, customize it. And it will also include a tutorial, competitive, and casual modes, all available within this racing mode. And some of the tracks locations are actually within battle royale locations like lazy lake from chapter two is one of these locations like think of fortnite and then think of everything it could be and fortnite are making their game as big as possible and that's not even all i briefly mentioned a festival mode that will also be featured in the live event and this will be another permanent mode codenamed Harmonix festivals at the moment. Harmonix is actually the studio behind the music games Rock Band and Dance Central games. Epic Games acquired these guys a few years ago, and this mode is basically its own music rhythm game mode. It will also have its own item shop, surprise, surprise. And there'll be some music tracks available in these modes, like Switch Up, Show Them Who We Are, Take Me Higher, Brace for Chaos, Run It. Tracks from Linkin Park and Lady Gaga will be available in there as well. I can't lie, did not see Fortnite releasing their own music mode. But as I told you, they are seriously going all out. The in-game lobby has been updated with a timer counting down to this huge event. This is the longest countdown we've ever had before a live event. So they're really building it up, showing just how important this is to Fortnite. Now, leading up to this live event, we were going to be restricted on the skins that we could actually use. In the most recent update, one of the most controversial updates ever in Fortnite, they basically banned the usage of certain skins on certain rated Fortnite creative experiences if they were basically a bit too old, like they had a gun or a grenade on their pocket. You couldn't use them on a map that's made for kids. These include skins they consider to be too scary or just not right for kids to see. These included 429 cosmetics that were blocked initially, but Fortnite realized how much of a bad mistake this was, how much the community hated it, and they just put out a blog announcement letting them know that this is now going to be changed, and there will now only be about seven skins that can't be used in the live event, but all of the others will, and they're going to work on a better system to allow skins to be used on different rated maps, because all the creative experiences in Fortnite now need to have an age rating associated with them, and this is one of the things that Fortnite do do really well, is that 99% of the time, if a community hates something, they will go ahead and address it, and thankfully this is one of them. Now, talking of skins, we've still got a few weeks left of OG Fortnite. There's a few big collaborations coming on the way. Lewis Hamilton's icon set is coming to the game, including his pet dog in there. We're going to be getting a huge collaboration between Fortnite and Invincible. There's a new Guardians of the Globe set, which will include Omni-Man, Atom Eve, Invincible outfit, and include a ton of back blings, pickaxes, wraps, and more. Coming to the item shop in just a few days' time. And you guys have been incredible throughout Fortnite OG by popping code Alley into the item shop before you've bought anything. So I want to thank all of you guys on screen. Continue to put it in as it does go away every two weeks. And I may have a very special announcement relating to the item shop and some cool cosmetics coming to the game. Stay tuned over the next few days where I'll tell you guys more. It's safe to say that although OG Fortnite's going soon, the next chapter and everything new will blow people's minds even more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and click on screen here to watch another Fortnite OG video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on this video.